Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys dressed like a total bum, but it's 90 degrees in the garage right now and it's going to be, oh, I don't know, about 106 today and it's uh, only about nine o'clock in the morning. So for those of you who are newer to the channel, you may have seen, well, the Crown Vic was my last daily driver for when I wasn't riding the bike. Once my wife's lease was up with the GMC Terrain, we just gave it back to the dealership. So I went out and bought that Crown Vic and my wife took over the truck for the last year and a half. So that's why you really haven't seen it on the channel is because, well, once it becomes her daily driver, uh, I'm not gonna tinker with it for the YouTube channel with this whole illness going on. And the deals right now are really good for vehicles. And uh, we took that opportunity to go out and buy my wife something new. I'm taking the truck back. When I bought this truck, it was a 2015. All the 2016s were out. It was literally the last one on the lot. The one thing that I hate about this truck, and I've hated uh, pretty much the entire time we've owned it, is that, well, let me show you inside. It has the jump seat in the middle, which, you know, I don't, I don't want to say I totally hate the jump seats, but in this case, I do. When you lift this up, you get this jump seat, which this shirt has been there forever, uh, trying to help some of the vibration, but uh, you get this jump seat. It is rock hard uh, because it's a storage bin. So I keep my hitch and stuff in there, which is great. It's good storage, especially for a hitch. You don't need it every day. Um, but again, this is rock hard, not very comfortable. I have never had anybody sit there and I hate this console. Now, the rip here is from uh, me one day with a knife, just barely tapping one little spot. It was a non-visible hole. I knew that I hit it after a couple of years of the sun getting at it. It just got bigger and bigger and it's uh, actually super uncomfortable to have your arm there. So I went out and bought the floor console and I'm going to do that swap right now. Now, this center console, uh, I'm gonna link all of the parts in the description down below. The only console I could get has this rear seat uh, entertainment stuff to it, which I do not have. At this point, this was the only console that I could get because supply chains are totally jacked up right now. Uh, a lot of the stuff was unavailable. So I'll link what this one is um, down below. So let's just go ahead and start tearing out the old one. Four bolts, and I, I love this air ratchet. Never had one before. Makes life a million times easier. So let's try to yank this thing out here. You know, one thing I did not account for is there is going to be a wire harness somewhere in here to disconnect it. this whole seat. So now that we got the wire harness disconnected, now we'll try to pull it out the back. And there you go. So the only thing that I actually like on the center console, the jump seat, is that I use this as a little uh, trash can. But uh, we won't need that anymore. So we got everything out of the, uh, the center. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is just lay both these consoles side by side and see uh, harness-wise what it is I'm dealing with here. So what you have in this new console is this USB hub here, cigarette lighter here, and this one I have this USB hub here, cigarette adapter there. Uh, obviously what I'm trying to do here is uh, just make sure that this harness swap plugs into what's actually in the truck uh, since I do not have um, any of this stuff going on. Um, I really don't need any of that wire harness stuff either. So uh, I presume that's kind of what a lot of uh, what's going on um, up at the front there. So we'll go ahead and uh, tear this all apart. And there we have one sticky, tape sticky-ish harness that will now run here. So 
So this is the inside of the back here. I only need this rear plug. So I am gonna go ahead and yank this harness out and uh, replace the whole harness. So wire harness is swapped over. Now it's on to actually installing this thing and wrap this project up. All right, so the camera actually died out on me. It was uh, too hot in the garage, overheated, and it shut down. So it was at the point when I was just snapping plastics together, no big deal. So with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys the final result. These are not working. This is not working. Uh, not a big deal. I actually might cut that out and put a switch pod in there, uh, similar to what I've seen on uh, the GM trucks forums from another user uh, and that's because I used the existing uh, or the old OEM wiring harness uh, this is working and this is working just fine uh, inside the console I swapped over to the old USB port from the old OEM console to get Apple CarPlay to work which it does now uh, just fine and you can see you have uh, quite a bit more storage uh, than what I had previously much deeper That is the removable uh, cup holder, which is great. It uh, gives you more storage underneath there. And then we have this piece, which was an eBay uh, part that I bought for, I don't know, $10, $9. And uh, that just covers that up. It comes OEM like that. I think that's uh, pretty terrible. Just uh, kind of a weird deep space there that makes you lose a lot of functionality. So leave that hidden. That'll sit up there and uh, gives you a nice little shelf, which, you know, I'm all about usage and think about going through a drive-through. Uh, if you have, you know, a bag in your seat or a passenger in your seat uh, next to you, this is just a good place to, to kind of set a bag of, of something. So um, that is uh, what the console looks like. You have some storage uh, down here, which uh, works out great. Uh, so all in, uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. So go ahead and uh, hit the road here. So I wanted to address uh, a couple uh, things that questions basically I had before I even took on this challenge, uh, which number one was looking at all the parts lists, it can be a little bit misleading. Um, I was unsure if the uh, part that GM listed was going to come with the um, actual armrest here, which it did. Uh, and uh, the other question I had about was this upper trim piece, if it would come with the cup holders, which it did. Uh, now I went with the cup holders with the adjustability so the 2014 2015 model I want to say in 15 or 16 they switched it to uh, non movable cup holders um, which is fine and I'll tell you why is because by moving this cup holder forward and backward I noticed pretty much right away that you start to actually scrape up the plastics on the uh, the, the whole setup here so I understand why they switched it to, uh, to rigid but the problem with the rigid is that you lose the ability to pull the cup holder out altogether and you lose a huge storage space uh, down below the cup holder. So I will not be moving this cup holder back and forth, but I like the fact that I can pull it up and access additional storage underneath it. Uh, now, the other thing is how much money did I spend on this whole setup? Well, 
seven hundred bucks. It was uh, seven hundred and change. And uh, is it worth it? That's obviously in the eyes of whoever's spending the money. Uh, for me, you guys know that I was dealing with some shaking in this vehicle. If you're an OG subscriber, and uh, one of the critiques I had on these pickup trucks is that they suffered from that vibration, and a huge portion of that was the uh, jump seat in the center folds up and then it folds down. So when it's down, it's basically just a lever, and there's nothing holding the front of it sturdy. So if the vehicle has any vibration, that's the piece that wants to start shaking. And when you had your arm on it, you could feel it, and uh, it was really annoying. So um, because Performance Drive Lines out of Bakersfield, California, uh, did a drive shaft swap on this truck uh, in effort to alleviate some of the vibrations, which, by the way, it, it probably 90% of it's gone. What I will say is that this console, kind of as I suspected, now that it's rigid, bolted to the floor, also bolted to the front, which is two more points that the old console didn't have, uh, and there's nothing that can move on it, it is far more uh, stable. My soda that's in the cup holder here is, it's not even... It's not even moving at all. I mean, it's calm seas. So if you're dealing with vibration issues, uh, this might be a way to kind of hide a little bit of it because, again, I think with that jump seat, uh, you're just in a situation where you're putting your arm on one surface that is uh, amplifying that vibration. Uh, so you basically it's felt through your body, and it's, it's, it's really, really annoying. So that is the wrap-up of my console swap on my 2015 GMC Sierra. If you have any questions, please uh, drop a question in the comments down below. If this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.